I mean, to your point about how much prep it took, you know, there's a lot of moving parts with your outfit specifically. I mean, some people put on the costume, go out right. there and belt a tune, but you want to puppeteer, you created this accent, and you had to sing, and you had to move around. It must have been a lot. Were you nervous at all performing and making sure that everything was working at the same time, or you practiced enough where you recovered? So it was a lot like football. I mean, the analogies are, are eerie similar, but the preparation you put in, uh, by the time you get to the performance, there's nerves when you run out on the field, but you reach a point in every game where uh, once you, for me personally, it was complete your first pass. And then once you get knocked down, like you never want to get hit hard, but at least just like knocked down to where your Jersey gets a little dirty. Like, okay, now I'm in the game. I got to pick myself up off the grass. I feel the grass. I've completed a pass. Okay. I'm in the game's on. Let's go. Let's rip. And then for the, for the performance, I was kind of trying to figure out like, where is that zone going to be? Like, when am I going to hit my groove? And so right before the song plays, you have an earpiece in and um, you know, for, for the, for the music and the instrumental, and then you're ready to sing over it. But right before it starts, there's these four clicks. And so by the third click of the actual performance, like leading up to it, the rehearsals and everything, I was like, Oh my God, this is, I'm ready. Like, we're going to knock this out of the park. Let's go. I'm excited, you know, like not nervous at all. And then right before the first performance, that third click, my heart just like sank for, you know, a fraction of a second, like, oh my God, this is real. And I had to like snap back out of it, boom and go. And so with the faith performance, I think getting to the first chorus, you were like, boom, I took another big breath and was ready to just relax and sing and have fun. And so uh, the, like I said, the, similarities and crossover between an NFL game and an onstage performance were so similar. It, that definitely helped, but you can't escape the nerves. Yeah, it's wild. You know, one of the things I loved about um, your performance was that towards the end, you were kind of complaining, you know, you're a buff guy, you're a pro athlete, you are a quarterback, and you were complaining how much your hand hurt because Dr. Yeah. Ken talk too long so long does he just talk too long i mean is oh. he arguably the worst guesser of any job it was the, well it's so funny because he's so analytical you could see his doctor you know background you know he wants answers he wants you know the the reason for those answers he wants the connective tissue he wants everything in that moment and so to explain all that i mean it takes minutes and minutes and minutes and so they did a great job um on the show of putting the costume on right before the performance, boom, hustle out there. And then you get like a quick break before you're in front of the judges. Well, when we did it the first time, I just stayed out there. So I was in the costume for like 30 minutes <laughs> and it's like 40 pounds. So I have like a resting position. And so there were certain parts that were like cut out, of course, because I'm kind of like, I take my hand out of the puppet. So the puppet's just lifeless. And I like kind of hunch over into a position where I can relax my back and chest. And I'm just kind of waiting for him to do his Saddest whole long monologue. Ever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm, you know, at one point, right before I went to that thing, you see me on TV with the puppet with his hand going like this, like, hurry up, let's go. So um, because it was so heavy, not because I didn't think it was funny or something. I wasn't trying to be disrespectful, but damn, I was dying. Yeah, he's, he's so. one of the best. You know, the Masked Singer is a real really tough competition it's demanding to be in those costumes even yeah. mickey rourke straight up just took off of his costume he was just so he was poor and sweaty just he didn't even get to be unmasked he just took it off how longer do you think that you could have or have wanted to keep going like did you have a couple numbers left in you or you kind of have oh yeah no i i had a couple left i thought uh i thought i was gonna need them that was you know that that was tough and then sending sending the little practice puppet back were probably the saddest parts, you know, cause you build up so much and there's so much anticipation and excitement for something. And then, you know, when it's gone, it's gone. But, you know, I gave it a great effort. I thought I did well. And um, it was, it was an incredible experience, something that, uh, that I'll never forget. You definitely did well because no one guessed you at all. Even, you know, even Nick Cannon was like, oh my God, like no one yeah. had any idea. You know, now that you're out of the competition, I got to ask you, there is some stiff competition in the show. Right. Lots of great singers. It is incredible. Who do you vote for? Who do you think is going to take home the mask trophy? 
Man, uh, the sun is incredible. Uh, the seahorse. So a quick story about the seahorse. We passed each other because I finished and then she's going on stage. And you're not really, you don't get to interact with anybody else on show, uh, on set. Only the people that are kind of like assigned to you. And so um, she's walking kind of with her handlers. I'm walking with my handlers and I kind of, we do the little crisscross. She goes on stage and I'm taking a break from the costume in my dressing room. And boom, she goes on stage and I hear her and I've never heard anybody else perform to this point. And I don't know who anybody, I still don't know who anybody is. And so I was like, wait a second. Keith was my guy who's handling everything for me. I'm like, Keith, bro, what's the deal? That's freaking Celine Dion. This is, <laughs> this is BS. Are you kidding me? How'd you put me in a group with her? There's no way. Like, I was so pissed. You and I was, feeling, I was feeling so good, right? Like, I nailed my performances. Like, I maximized my potential, I felt like. And so I'm, like, riding this little high, you know, joking around with the alien backstage. And then I hear that. I was just like wow reality check all right <laughs> i'll see you guys later